I'm Ben Affleck, and I want to thank you for joining me and supporting Paralyzed Veterans of America. I joined the Navy to serve my country as a Navy SEAL. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. When I broke my neck, it left me paralyzed. Paralyzed Veterans of America was by my side from that moment on. Since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America has kept a promise to our wounded veterans. We will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Thanks to PVA, Paralyzed Veterans are getting specialized medical care and treatments. The benefits they've earned, the jobs they want, and the accessible vehicles and homes they need. I just don't think my family would be as happy as they are without the support that I received from Paralyzed Veterans of America. Our veterans fought for us. Let's fight for them. To learn more, go to pva.org today. Anticipate potential delays for the morning commute. In other news, a recent government report on prescription drug pricing points to corporate... Freedom of the press is about your right to know. What are you talking about, man? Look at this stat. It's about your right to be informed. Your right to access all types of information keeps us free as a nation. No, 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 no. Today, there are real threats to press freedom. residential areas by... And your right to know about the world around us. Look. Some threats are obvious. Some are easy to miss. But they all put our way of life at risk. We must defend against all of these threats, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Justified putting American troops in harm's way. That's a great question. We must protect our right to know before it's too late. Understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Mm -hmm. Do you A, try to fix it, like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her. Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education? What are you gonna do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else? Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. Be my teacher. Be my teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts? Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? We need more teachers. We need more great teachers. Teachers like you. What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. Be my teacher. Be my teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts? Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? We need more teachers. We need more great teachers. Teachers like you. What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me?
With SRN Sports, I'm Andrew Stewart. Yesterday's baseball winners, the Oakland A's, topped the Texas Rangers on an emotional day in the Bay. Mason Miller throws a 1-2-3 ninth inning to help the A's edge the Rangers 3-2 in the final game at the Coliseum. Miller recorded the save, striking out the first two batters of the ninth before inducing a ground out for the final out in Oakland in front of a sold-out crowd of just under 47,000 fans. Manager Mark Kotze addressed the fans after the game. Thank you all for loving the game of baseball. Thank you for your lifelong support of the Oakland A's. The A's completed a 57-year chapter at the Coliseum, which included four World Series championships. I'm Denny Kapp. Yesterday's other American League winners, Detroit, the White Sox, and the Yankees. Yesterday's interleague winners, Kansas City and Miami. This is SRN Sports. Here's your look at sports and weather update. That was your look at sports. Now here is Brandy Gregory in the Weather Center with your three-day weekend weather forecast. Hey, Brandy. Thank you, Sean. Good day to you and good day to everyone. I'm Brandy Gregory with your three-day weekend weather report brought to you by the Growing and Flowing Podcast, hosted by yours truly. On my podcast, I love to connect my present-day experiences to my childhood to get a better idea of who I've been, who I am, and who I am becoming. So if you would love to give me a listen, I am available on any platform that you get your podcast on. And if you would like to support any of my future endeavors, go ahead and shoot me something over to my official cash app. That will be dollar sign growing the letter in flowing pod. Now here's what's happening in your local area. For Friday in Atlanta, we have a high of 74, a low of 67 with a chance of rain for 85% of the region. The area will be experiencing effects from Hurricane Helene who touched down in Florida as a category 4 hurricane Thursday night. So stay safe. For Saturday, we are clearing out. We have a high of 78 and a low of 62 and rounding out the weekend for sunday we have a high of 78 a low of 63 with partially sunny skies once again i'm brandy gregory reporting live from the weather center stay tuned for more news sports and weather reports at the top of every hour on podcast fm 87 reach one network and honey exclusively on roku weekend weather forecast it is the architect himself sean garvey and you are tuned in you are tuned in live to so dates live right here on your roku television set your streaming device wherever you are checking the show from all right there we go sean garvey coming to you live and also on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Beat Break Radio. That is Beat Break Radio. And make sure you get the likes up. We definitely want to uh, get as many likes as possible so we can get much of a huge, huge traffic. All right. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Beat Break Radio. All right. Uh, this is round two. Round two of So Dates Live, ladies and gentlemen. So Dates Live, we did So Dates Live last night. We're going to do a quick recap of what occurred last night. <laughs> We're going to play some uh, clips from last night's show before we get into the second round of So Dates Live. This is the second round. Not with the same daters from last night, but we do have two new daters that we have in the queue. I'm going to give you a team in just a few moments on who those daters are, all right? And we're going to play a little bit of a recent interview that I conducted with a mate, um, a, a candidate, a dater, who appeared on So Days Live recently. And he's going to talk about a little bit about his date with B, Brittany, Brittany, a.k.a. B. Uh, so we're going to play a little bit about, a little bit of that. And... We're going to get into our daters, okay? So stay tuned. We got more on the way next right here on So Day 5. Now, I don't know what happened to the series premiere of Status Updates. If you are watching Honey or if you've had a chance to watch Honey before the live show, 
uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we were supposed to have a new show airing on Honey called Status Updates starting at 8 p.m. It was supposed to start at 8 p.m., but we had something else planned. But, you know, folks, it's television. Things happen live. So we will have the uh, premiere, the series premiere of Status, status Updates next Monday at 8 p.m. All right, so just in case everybody is wondering or was wondering what happened to the show that was supposed to come on live before So Days Live, I don't know. And I'm the president of the program. <laughs> but we will have that uh, series premiere uh, next Monday night. That will be October 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with you all in space. All right, so we're going to play um, a little bit of my interview with Michael from Buffalo, New York, who resides in Atlanta. And he's going to talk a little bit about uh, his appearance on So Days Live and the follow up to his date from Brittany, who appeared on So Days Live. So let's play that clip just uh, for a few moments because we do have our daters in the green room and uh, we'll get to them in just a few moments. But let's play a clip of that and, uh, and uh, we'll go from that. All right. So Days Live, Sean Garvey at B Break Radio. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Soul Dates Live. It's the architect here, Sean Garvey. Make sure you follow us everywhere on social media at Beat Break Radio. And as you can see down below in the ticker, information on how to get at us and how to donate to the content. Cash out, dollar sign, reach one communications. All donations are acceptable and greatly appreciated. All right, Sean Garvey. And also, don't forget, folks, if you would like to become a dater on Soul Dates Live, make sure you send me an email, souldateslive at gmail.com. That is souldateslive at gmail.com. Got to be 21 and up to participate in the dating game show. And you must, you must fill out a questionnaire as part of our screening purposes and our screening process to make sure that you are eligible, eligible with a capital E to participate in the program, okay? Uh, we got to go into the dating game in just a few moments and just a little bit here on Soul Dates Live. Also want to remind you guys that we are broadcasting live on Honey, make sure you have the Honey app locked onto your Roku TV and or Roku TV device. Download the Honey app today. Tell somebody to download it as well on all mobile devices, including your Roku TV. And we are also simulcasting on the Flow Television Network, which is also at the bottom on the screen there below the ticker. Okay, Sean Garvey, give you a follow up. Yes, folks, it's been a while since we have done a follow up right here on Soul Days Live. And we plan to do some more follow ups in the near future as more and more episodes of Soul Days Live come into place. But right now, I am going to bring up a returning guest on this segment of Soul Days Live, the follow up date. And he has been on Soul Days Live before. Uh, he was actually on during, what is season two or season three? I think it was season three because if my memory serves me correctly, <laughs> well, I'm still at 40, 
uh he was on season three for some reason i thought he was on season two but he was on season three of soul days live that took place this past summer okay so it wasn't that long ago you know it seemed like it was yesterday but yeah he was on season three of soul days live and he got an update got an update for us and i can't wait to hear it all right so ladies and gentlemen please welcome back to soul dates live from buffalo new york by way of the atl atlanta georgia we have no other than michael to soul dates live what's going on michael man how are you doing sir what up what up what up everybody what's going on welcome going back on? hey it's man yeah man it's been a minute been traveling been doing a little bit of this then been doing a little bit of that you know been on the grind but yes on, yes bro. yes sir yes sir so you got an update for us that you are going to share with our viewers and our listening audience in just a few moments but what i want to do right now michael is i want to go back to the episode that you was on uh with two other bachelors on the show and i and ended up the winner you ended up being the winner hand clap for that on in the background there i'm gonna play the applause in the background because you did win you did win and uh you know we were wondering inquiring mind we wanted to know what happened on the date and if there's going to be something something happening something materializing from the day but hold on hold on don't we we're not going to get into that just yet we're going to take it to the back we're going to take it to the beginning okay and <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna switch the beat up and uh let's go ahead and just recap our viewers and our listeners on what happened uh on this particular episode i'm going to set the stage up first and then you will come behind me and share your experiences being on the show. So uh, we did an episode where we had a young lady by the name of B. That's her stage name, but her real name is Brittany out of Ohio. And uh, at first, before the actual dating game show, I invited her on to the platform to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her about her dating experiences. Um, and I, I'm not going to play any of the clips that she was a part of, um, respectively, but she uh, put a lot of information out there about herself and about her dating experiences. So just to summarize it all up, Michael and for everybody that's tuning in, um, B or Brittany, uh, she's been having a bit of a trouble, um, you know, trying to find somebody that she could have a long standing relationship with. Uh, she details some of her past relationships uh, with both men and women to be very candid, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, some of the things that she said uh, in our one-on-one -on -one conversation was that she went out on a date with a guy at one particular time in her dating life. And she brought her son with her on the date. So that way he could, he meaning the son, he could test things out and let his mom B know what he thought about the guy that she chose to go on a date with. And I gave my opinion about it. I was like, oh, I don't think you don't want to do that for future purposes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, I don't think you want to do that. But, you know, she um, also outlined what she looked for in a mate and some of the things that, you know, didn't work out in her favor when it comes to dating and so on and so on and so on. Uh, and I was like, okay, all right, I hear you. I'm listening to you. I took down notes. 
And I thought to myself, I, I had to think about it a little bit after the show, Michael and everybody listening. I was like, okay, you know what? She's a sweet woman. You know, when I bring people on to Soul Days Live, I look for the character in them, in themselves. And I also see where their mental state is at. So she is someone that wants to be in a serious relationship. You know, we all have our times and our phases in our life where we go through this phase of not wanting to be in a serious relationship right now. We kind of want to focus on ourselves, on our career, and then the rest will follow. But she really wants to be in a serious relationship and not make those same mistakes ever again. So I was like, okay, let's bring her on the show, this time as a bachelorette. And we had three guys on the show, and one of them was, of course, Michael. So, Michael, I'm going to go ahead and let you inform the listeners, inform the viewers, your experiences of being on the show. Don't really say just yet on how the date went afterwards and what have you. We, we want to tell a story. I got you. I got you. you know what I mean? So yeah. go ahead and, and share your experiences of being on the show on with the show. me and the other two guys. Yeah, the floor is yours. Okay, so to be honest, man, okay, I know me and you was talking about you having a dating show for a while, for years. And uh, <laughs> and I know, um, you know, like things are supposed to happen, but, you know, things didn't go through and everything. But I understand things happen for whatever reason, like behind the scenes and stuff. But we finally made it happen this year, right? So when I finally got on the platform, um, I was thinking to myself, well, you know what? I don't know what to expect from this. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be. You know, I just came in with an open mind and, you know, and just came with positive energy. And, uh, you know, when I came and everything, I saw like how you set it up. I was like, okay, so basically it's me and two other guys. And then the woman that is on here, that's the main person, that's the host or whatever. She gets to pick and choose like who she felt like is the best one, the best candidate for her and everything to see like who she connects with the most. So, you know, I was just being myself, you know, I was just seeing like where it was going to go. And, uh, you know, I was just, you know, just uh, looking at, okay, of me and this, what this lady have a connection. And we actually did, we actually had a connection and everything, you know, so that's what, that was my experience just being on your platform. And like I said, I, I had a good time and everything. And I seen like how you did with, with other people on your platform. So like I said, it was really cool, you know, for the most part, that's, but that's my experience. And let me also say this, cause I was there during the taping. I thought it was one of the funniest and best episodes that I curated and that I hosted. Cause there was a lot of energy, you know, you can tell just by speaking with B, aka Brittany, and the others that participated, they were on there having fun. They were on there having fun. They were being themselves. And uh, it was still a bit suspenseful because you was up against two other guys that, you know, one of us thought that, hey, if it ain't going to be Michael, it's going to be this person or, or that person, you know, so the suspense was real definitely oh, real yeah, yeah that's true yeah I did, agree. Did, did you have any type of nervousness you know or any type of skepticism that uh whatever goes down goes down whatever decision is made did you have a bit of skepticism a bit of nervousness in you i wasn't nervous to be honest i was just i just came in like just with an open mind and not coming with no expectations i just let things come natural and that's how it should be. You know, that's that's how we wanted to be here on Soul Days Live. Uh, so as Michael mentioned earlier in the segment, he was the winner. Got to give an applause for that once again. Uh, he was the winner for that episode. So Brittany picked you out of the other two guys that were competing also for a date with Brittany. 
Uh, what do you think, looking back at it, what do you think attracted Brittany to you to where she chose you and not the other man? Uh, I think it was my personality and my confidence and how I was coming off. Um, you know, I think it was like she felt like she was able to connect with me a lot more. She felt like she was a lot more interested in me. She felt like I had more to offer. She felt like I could bring more to the table to the, than the other guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I thought just from my observation, I thought that the two of you had a few things in common. Number one, when it comes to tattoos, because she made it clear, especially in our pre-dating segment of Soul Days Live, that she likes a guy with tattoos. It's like, yeah. okay, you know, cool. I mean, I, I like people with tattoos. I especially like women with tattoos. So as you can see, uh, Michael is showcasing one of his tattoos <laughs> on his arm there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I was trying to do that. I was just holding my phone up. But yeah, that's one of my tattoos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was one thing that him and Brittany had in common. Uh, the other was the, the spirituality. You know, she's very big on spirituality and you big on spirituality as well. And I think just the essence of the, the conversation and the interaction between the two of you when it came to the two of you, you know? Um, so I thought that that was very organic, you know, between you and her. So, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, indeed, yeah, indeed. All right, uh, So Days Live, if you're just tuning in, we are doing a recap follow-up with Michael, who was one of the daters from season three of So Days Live. If you remember, we had a young woman by the name of Brittany, who also goes by the name of B. Uh, She's been on Soul Dates Live twice, one for our one-on-one -on -one conversation, just to kind of get to know her and her dating journey. And we brought her back on to be the main bachelorette for three guys that were in the studio at the same time, competing to go on a date with her. And Michael became the lucky man. He became the lucky contestant that Brittany chose to go on a date with. All right, that was a brief recap of my interview with Michael. Buffalo, New York, ATL bound. Now, I know you all are wondering, did it materialize? Did it happen? Did the date go well? Or did the date go stop? You gotta wait for it. <laughs> We're gonna play the entire, entire interview this coming Wednesday night at 9 p.m. So Days Live. There will be a rebroadcast this Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we are going to play the interview in its entirety because I am so ready to get into this game, game, game event. Getting ready to go down in just a couple of moments right here on So Days Live. On Honey, make sure you download the Honey app, by the way, if you haven't already. Download the Honey app to your Roku TV. If you already have a Roku TV, tell somebody to tell somebody to tune in right now to Soul Dates Live. We're also streaming on The Flow, the Flow Television Network. Shout out to Stephanie behind the scenes. We are also syndicated. Yes, folks, we are in syndication on all streaming platforms. Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV as well as on YouTube. And if you would love to make a donation to the machine, cash app us, dollar sign, reach the number one communications to support the content, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I promised you, I promised you that I was gonna give you a little tease on the daters tonight who will be coming on. And I'm gonna give you a picture of the two people that are slated to come on tonight's show. And I said slated because this is a live broadcast and we have had a history of some people not showing up or their Wi-Fi has been wi fi <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what happens. But here are the two daters. There you go. Yep. One is an 
an actress. The other one is an actor in the entertainment industry as well. And he's also a fitness trainer, by the way. So ladies, I know y'all are Googling and goggling <laughs> behind the scenes there. But those are the two dates that we have on tonight's Soul Dates Live, all right? And we had him in the queue, by the way. We had uh, the gentleman in the queue, by the way. He was sitting in the green room. I'm not sure what happened to him, but uh, gentlemen, if you are out there, uh, we need you to come back into the green room because we're getting ready to begin the festivities because we have your way to be. Standing by, I'm sorry, I've been watching too much coming to America. <laughs> All right, it is the bottom of the hour, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, days live, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Garvey. I need to wear a Pray for Georgia t-shirt. We've been having so much going on here in the state of Georgia, from tragic events, hurricanes, and now this explosion that happened earlier. My goodness, my goodness. I had to stay in my place inside the house all day. I had to work from home, really. Yeah, I need to wear a uh, Pray for Georgia t-shirt <laughs> around these parts. Uh, shout out to Queen Sheba for this great t-shirt, poetry versus hip hop. Big shout out to Queen Sheba. All right, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on one of the daters to the forefront. I'm gonna bring her in very well. She, like I said, she's also an actress, but she also is a lifestyle model, voiceover. She also does a little singing, a little bit of dancing. Maybe we will do a little something, something live here on Soul Day Live. Her hobbies include watching vintage movies, taking care of her plants, taking care of animals, plus creative things like interior design and so much more. Uh, by the way of Phoenix, Arizona, I know we gotta be still, still hot out there. Uh, her zodiac sign is Virgo, by the way, because you know her favorite artist, Michael Jackson, is a Virgo, so is Beyonce. The irony behind that, folks. Yeah. All right, let's bring her on in, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and introduce yourself, lovely. Hello. Hello. Hi, my name is Duwari. Duwari. Good. Can yes. you come up closer to the camera? Oh. Yeah, yeah because the feed. Yeah. Oh, okay. You you bring in the full the full full self of you to the camera. <laughs> All right, and Duari, correct? Yes. All right, Duari from Phoenix, Arizona. Good evening. Welcome to Slow Days Live. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so happy to be here. We're so happy that you are here. We are so happy that you are here. Uh, you do it all: singing, modeling. Do a little dancing here and there and all that good stuff. Yeah. Well, what is your favorite thing to do out of all the things that I mentioned just now? What is your favorite thing that you love the most? Um, you know, I think performance comes from within and, you know, I think either you're born with it or you're you know, so like I, I just love performing ever since I was um, a small child when it comes to acting. But recently I just got into my singing era. I just joined a band, which I'm super excited about. I just left rehearsals not too long ago, so um, I was definitely getting in earlier. So I joined a local band here in Phoenix, Arizona called um, the Neutron Band. Mm -hmm. And we are a Pointer Sisters tribute band. So I am just so excited to just get back into old school music and, and perform live. It's really cool. Ah, love it. Love it. And it's a band. It's, it's a band, you know, because some people call themselves a band, but they're not really a band. <laughs> so these are people that perform, that are play, that are playing instruments, like the piano, guitar. Real instruments, real instruments, real voices. Um, okay. You know, uh, you can't fake the old school stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you gotta really show up and do it. There is no auto tune. Part of it is really just the art of uh, music making and just honoring such a legendary group, the Pointer Sisters, you know, three amazing, yeah. beautiful black women doing their thing still to this day, so. I love it, I love it. All right, now let's get into it. I'm gonna switch the beat up just a little bit because we still waiting for our bachelor to come on. I don't know what happened to him, he was in the green room. Oh, uh -huh. we're gonna find out in a few minutes. <laughs> we are gonna find out. 
But let's talk a little bit. Let's stay on you for a moment uh, because this is Slow Days Live. And by the way, I want to remind people that this is not a fake show. This is not one of those experimental shows. This is where we bring on real people in real time that are looking for real relationships. So I want to know from you, Duari, like what is it that you look for in a guy? What do you look for? You know, I just believe in being equally yoked. So everyone's going to look for something a little bit different. Me, personally, I'm looking for someone who is into the creative arts. Um, you know, so someone who could help me along my journey and support me in that type of way and, you know, be entertained by the same things I'm entertained by and we can have those mm -hmm. things in common. Um, also looking for someone who has made the relationship mistakes already, you know? coming in healed um, <laughs> with experience and someone who just really um, is genuine about their feelings and their emotions and communicate that effectively. Okay. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, you know, I love everyone being themselves, so I don't want to change anyone. But I definitely do not like cigarette smokers. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't. Oh, yeah, no. Cigarettes. I did it before. No. I tried it. You see, I'm not uh, judging. I tried, and I didn't like it. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. You know, I cannot stand the smell of cigarette smoke. I mean, each is on, especially to some of our listeners out there that are, mm -hmm. or that may be cigarette smokers themselves. I people who smoke, like, ah, oh, to, to, yeah. to be. It, uh, in, in an intimate yeah. way, it, it just kind of is a little for me. Right, too much, too much. What What about um, other things outside of cigarettes? Like you, you know what I'm talking about. I can't say live on the air, but you know. Yeah. What I'm <laughs> um, you know, I believe in happiness, high vibration, joy, love, all the good stuff. So. Another deal breaker for me is someone who is the opposite of that, you know, lower vibrational, maybe can't, uh, you know, see the goodness in, in sometimes the bad things that happen or just generally has a more pessimistic outlook on life that, you know, that can definitely be challenging. I like to be with people who, who see the light. They keep it going, you know, succeeding, striving for the best. Ambition. A ambition. Ambitious. ambitious. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Now we have our data. He's in the queue. Okay. By the way, uh, that's some good news right there. We have our bachelor in the queue and I know he may have missed some of what you said. So just to rewind a little bit, you mentioned that your pet peeves are cigarette smoke. You don't like a guy that smokes cigarettes. Um, but your turn ons, you know, somebody that's into creativity, into the arts, and just being themselves, not faking the funk. Not faking the funk, bring it real. All right. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Now, before we go to our bachelor, I don't know if you heard this story. I actually talked about it on last night's So Dates Live. And um, a report came out recently about the top three cities that are known for bad dating, the worst dating cities in America right now. Number one, New York. Number two, Los Angeles. Number three, Philadelphia. <laughs> the city of brotherly love can't get no love. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And it's so, you know, and it was wild because the gentleman we had on who's watching us in real time right now, uh, the gentleman who was on So Day Live last night, he's from New York and he believes the study. 100%, 100%. I lived in New York before too. It's it, it's not for the weak. <laughs> it's a concrete jungle from what I heard in rap songs back in the day. Uh, <laughs> through and through, through and through, you gotta ride through the concrete to make it for sure. Yeah, it's Arizona because I'm trying to see Arizona. I'm trying to see if it's in the top 10 best or worst cities for dating. But how is it top 10 worst? It might be number four because you only went to three. Number four might be Phoenix. <laughs> it is not. It is not. not. Number four, number four, it is 
Chicago. Oh. Yeah. And probably Miami. <laughs> right. Phoenix, but we're out there for sure. Phoenix is I, up there. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. But it's not even in the top 10. It's not even in the top 10 for best or worst cities for dating. It's somewhere, you know, I can only imagine. But I'm surprised that Atlanta is not in the top five or top 10. With the amount of rants and comments that we have had from people. I mean, they even made a movie <laughs> about dating in Atlanta. They have made movies. They have made YouTube shorts. They have made everything. The know. Atlanta slander is really real. I blame the Real Housewives, but the, <laughs> <laughs> the Atlanta slander is very real. <laughs> Shout out to uh, some of the women from the Real Housewives of Atlanta that I know. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to you all. <laughs> We All right, see, so Duare, you ready to meet your bachelor for the evening? Yes, I'm ready. You ready? Okay, because I'm seeing him in the green room. He's been getting up and down. He must be anxious or something. He's, <laughs> he cannot wait to see you, Duare. <laughs> so let's, let's bring him on in. Well, first, let me introduce him uh, to the studio. Uh, Malachi is a, that's his name. Malachi is an actor, fitness model from drum roll, from Arizona as well. Uh, his hobbies, he loves to work out. Obviously, he loves to work out. We have shown you the picture of what he looks like. Uh, he also reads, he plays chess. He is fully healed, you know, because of course, mental health is real. And we also want to make sure that, you know, people, when they go into the dating scene, that they are mentally, spiritually, and emotionally healed, by the way. Uh, you know, he's been dealing with the, the dating scene, you know, a bit of a struggle, been on and off from the dating scene, but uh, he's looking for his match. So let's go ahead and bring him on. We have Malachi, Malachi. Oh my God, he came ready. <laughs> he came ready. Malachi, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. Wait, wait, wait. How y'all doing? Turn the volume down in your background because we're getting feedback, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, it's Monday, it's Monday Night Football. <laughs> oh, well, this going to have to be your Monday Night Football right now. Yeah. So there's a little bit of delay. Doing? There's a little bit of delay. We're going to wait until I hear my voice. Please, and then we'll get right back into the show. <laughs> this is Summer Days Live, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, make sure you cash app us, by the way. Dollar sign reach one communication. <laughs> That's another thing. You can put at it. That's the boss. Hang tight, everybody. There's still a delay. This is live TV. <laughs> you ready to turn me down? Okay, there we go. Uh -oh. There we go. Okay, all right, there we go. I still hear my voice. Um, wait a minute, how many devices do you have that you have right now, Malachi? Wait a minute. Okay. I'm sorry. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, are we good. We good. We good. We good. <laughs> yeah. There's, like she said, there's, Arizona has issues with everything, uh, dating and internet. <laughs> <laughs> Weather, all of it. <laughs> Okay, okay, so sure. drop, drop out real quick. Drop off real quick, because I still hear my echo. I don't know what's going on. We, we can't have that feedback in the background. So come up or, or turn something down. I think we have something else playing in the background. Maybe like two or three of the voices. Right. I don't know what's going on. Is that better? Is it, is another, it's another feedback. Another feedback. 
I don't know. It's pretty quiet in here. But yeah, like I don't have rocky. I have like Yeah, I have like towel floors. Yeah, just drop drop off real quick and then come back on. Okay. Okay. All right. We we gotta get you we gotta get you uh fixed, man. We gotta get you straight. Matter of fact. Wait a minute. I'm feeling like Kendra right now. <laughs> I have my AC mm -hmm. on. Is that fine? Oh, you know what? Could okay, I think we fixed it. Yeah, I think we fixed it. All right, Malachi, okay. if you come, come back on. Come back on. All right, if you can't come back on, Malachi. There we go. All right, we fixed it. We fixed it. I told you guys, it's live. It's live TV. It's live TV. All right, Malachi. There we go. We got it fixed. We got it worked out. <laughs> hey, even on Monday Night Football there would be technical difficulties that would happen. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, Malachi, man, what's going on, man? How you doing? Let's start over. How you doing? Well, how y'all doing? First off, I'm just a, I'm just a brother trying to get by. So it's a privilege to be on your show. It's a privilege to meet this cool young sister. I see you doing well, you know. So first off, it's a privilege to be meeting y'all. Absolutely. Yeah. OK. All right. Um, so let's get to it. Let's not waste any time um, because Malachi, you came correct and Duare, you came correct as well. Uh, I feel like this is going to be way more better than last night's So Day's Live. I think I'm just saying, this is going to be a lot better. I think this is going to be better than Monday Night Football, to be honest with you. All right, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you, do you have it recorded, by the way? Malachi, do you have it recorded? You know, uh, no. <laughs> no you know, YouTube, uh, YouTube, later. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sports Center. That, there you go, there yeah. you go. That, there you go, hey, listen, Steve, Steven Smith and Shannon Sharp will talk about it in the morning. Okay, let's go ahead, <laughs> let's go ahead and go to round one. All right, round one is first date out now. Let me explain to you how this part of the show goes. Okay, so you all are on the first date and you all are getting to know each other, you know, and I'm gonna have you, Malachi, ask Duale a, a question or two, or, or basically, you know, just how you want the first date to actually go. Like, what is your dream date? That sort of thing, okay? So you, Malachi, you echo that question to Duale and Duale, you echo that question to him. What is your idea date? This is the first date out. I'm gonna remove myself from the screen and let y'all two have it. So Malachi, go ahead and echo the question to the following. Yeah, what what do you usually like to do on your first date? Um, you know, that's such a great question because I'm not I, I'm not a big dater, so I'm really excited for this possibility here. Um <laughs> food is always fun. Food and yeah. it's always fun. Um um, a cigar bar is always nice to just go and like chill back at as well too. <laughs> so though, just keep it light, not 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 too heavy. Definitely not a movie. Definitely not a movie. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I agree. I like the way you talk already. It seems like hey, I totally. Are you? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, everything you just. Right? I agree. Yeah, Golden yeah. Sexy <laughs> is how I'm like. So girl is sexy. Go. Some place where we can put our chesticles out like we are right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Some form of chesticles yes, appropriate. <laughs> that's okay with me. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right, so how about you? What is your ideal first date? You know, I have to agree something similar to what you said, you know, either a, a bite or just going somewhere chill, you know. Uh, definitely where we can talk, you know, you know, where it's cool, you know. No, no pressure. Just good times, you know, and smiles, you know. Which I, I, you got a very nice smile. Well, thank you. Anything nature too. Zoos are always fun as well. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty. Yeah, that's how. Like, yeah, nature. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see y'all too smiling. So. Uh, that's that's a good sign. Let's give our uh, round one, round one, 
first, Duarte, what do you think so far of Malachi? What do you think so far? Um, I think we have a lot in common. Already? Yes. <laughs> you're, just, you're not saying that because his chest is out. You're not just saying that. No. <laughs> 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 oh, absolutely not. Way, way, way deeper than skin. Way deep, way more than skin deep. Okay, but but, but you, you all, you all have something in common. I think this is my and that's here in April there. Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, you so so far has something in common. What about you, Malachi? What do you find in common with Huawei, or what do you think so far? I think she's cool. I, like I told her, I really like her smile, and she seems very bright, good energy, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's everything I would, you know, look forward to, hang, you know, meet, you know, she's, so thank you for introducing us on live, you know I mean, or everybody, yeah. <laughs> we, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. All right. <laughs> we're not Complimenting done. Complimenting my energy is like the sweetest thing you could ever do, too. That's like the ultimate compliment you know because it's like deeper than skin it's like i see your spirit you know <laughs> <laughs> all Thank right you. you up all right so that is round one round one we're about to go into round two of so days live get the likes up people get the likes up like share and subscribe to our youtube channel beat break radio put your comment in the comment section and make sure you like it ladies and gentlemen we have two people from Arizona in the same state, the first time, possibly in the same city, by the way. You in Phoenix as well, too, Malachi, right or no? Uh, up the street, yeah. You up the street. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We're not gonna. We're not trying to put people's addresses out there and stuff. We just this may That's be a smart. person local. Y'all both local. Y'all both locals. Yeah. Uh, both yeah. Locals. Definitely, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Definitely no, local. Okay. Definitely local. Yeah. This this is the first time we, we're about to make history here on Soul Dates Live. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Deep Break Radio. Okay. Y'all ready for the next round? Round two. Let's do it. That's so random. Okay. So this is a new part of the show in which you two will ask each other random questions. Okay. Just random questions, don't matter what they are. That's so random, okay? So I'm gonna allow you, Malachi, to ask Duare a random question or two. The floor is yours, okay? I'm gonna remove myself. Where'd you get that cool? Your, I like your neck, yeah, that looks very oh, this, nice. This, this, yeah. this little thing, um, thank you for asking. Um, I got it locally at a mall here in nice. Arizona. I like your, that was, yeah, that, I like yourself. So I had, I had to ask that. That was my random question. I appreciate that. Is it my turn for my random question? Okay. So my random question is, what did you eat today? Uh, earlier I ate some peanuts and like some cashews. I uh, have to still eat dinner because you know it hasn't got to dinner. I, I, I haven't, I do. Yeah, so I, I got like rice. I'm gonna need some rice and some beans and some chicken pretty soon here after it but yeah. What about you, what'd you eat today? It's like you need somebody to cook for you. I had, um, I had Panda Express. I quite enjoyed Sweet. Panda Express. I was busy, I came from rehearsal. I came right from rehearsal. Oh, I didn't have time to cook. And I came to join you tonight. So it had to be something fast. That's Panda's what's good. up. That's what's yeah. up. Panda's good though. They got vegetables. Like if I'm going to like go through a drive through I'm going to hit up Panda. That's usually the better option. It's very smart and it's very healthy. You know, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to be shredded like you. I mean, not all the way like you, but you know, it's, it's definitely an inspiration. It's 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 giving you know what you're doing. So I I trust that your diet is on point. Hey, we're both. But you look fantastic, guy. Hey, don't get it right. God, God is good. Hey, but we're all, we're good here. <laughs> you got hey, you got it, my sister. <laughs> yeah. 
Like you, it looks like I see the I see the muscles from over here. I obviously I get good son. I can see that you work out. Listen, I, I I'm trying, but you you will definitely be a great teacher, coach. <laughs> Thank you, instructor. Hey, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the title is. We'll see what the title is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, other random questions. Um, do you like what, what was the last good movie you saw or show? You know what? I watched Martin the other day and I forgot how good Martin was. Hey, you Martin. <laughs> you can't beat that with Shaniqua. Is it Shaniqua? Shaniqua? Yeah. <laughs> You can't beat it. Ricky Siegel, Mark, all of the old stuff trumps everything that we watch today. It really does. That's what about you? What, what did you watch that was interesting recently? Mm, I've been watching a lot of TV because I, I am an actress and I'm doing like a lot of studying. But I'm the key. Honestly, I watched a new season of SNL yesterday, the 50th episode. It was so good. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> I highly recommend that. It's funny. And we all need to hey, laugh. Hey, I that. don't you know like that. I was like Japanese. Yeah. Yes. SNL. Yeah. So good. I like. I like that. That's what's up. Yeah. SNL. Yeah. Good. You know, I watch I watch I watch a lot of I watch a lot of like ooh, Natasha. She was on Insecure. Natasha Robinson, you know what I'm talking. Did you watch Insecure? I have, I haven't. Got, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have. I heard of it. You know, I, my my sister told me about, it, but I haven't got around to it yet. So I, I'm it's listening and show. learning right now. It's a show for women, so I'm glad. Yes, perfect. You don't need to watch that. I, I will break it down for you. But one of the one of the four uh, girls, Natasha, I forgot what her last name is, but she has a whole new show on Hulu called How to Die Alone. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. All wow. black cast. Eat oh. down. So good. Highly recommend that. So How to Die Alone on Hulu. For sure. Wow. That's what's... Hey, I'm taking notes. Yeah. That's what's Study your craft. I'll be trying. Sis, you... It seems like you live it. <laughs> you know? All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. Um, the fireworks continue, ladies and gentlemen. The fireworks continue. All right, don't get me started on insecure because I was a serial watcher when it I've seen every episode, it's out. part of the culture, <laughs> yeah. And it's not for just women, too. I, I, there have been guys that watch the show, don't True. Guys, it's, you know. it's a cultural <laughs> show, it really is. But I, I forgive a man if he ain't seen it yet. I'm gonna put them on, no, I'm gonna put them on. Oh, okay. If things go well, Malachi, she may uh, have you binge watch Insecure with her. I'm just saying, all four or five seasons of Insecure, okay? All right, so that was round two. Round two, once again, that's called, uh, actually, that is uh, round, I don't know where it got round three from, but it's actually round two. Round two, that's so random, where we now have daters ask each other's random questions right here on soul dates live okay what did you think about his answer so far Duari? you know the, the it, it's great vibes great vibes and great answers all the way around you know the energy is good as well too you can you can always tell energy's past the screen and you can definitely pick up on it and he has good energy as well too okay in, in translation big big energy she said you got big big energy okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, Malachi, what about you? What do you think about her answer? She's amazing. Everything she can say, even, I like the, like I said, the, the choking necklace. I, I may hope I said that right. Stalin, uh, you know, I, I learned about some new shows that you put me on. My, my, you know, my sister put me on. So I'm, learn, I'm learning all around. I'm, I'm picking up. I'll... Yeah. Yeah, indeed, indeed, man. And uh, what was the other thing that you mentioned just a few moments ago, by the way, Duare? Something that you said. I got to go back and revisit that because it's something that you pointed out uh, that I want the people to know. But we'll, we'll come back to that later. But you, you gave, both of you all gave some great answers. I got to give you a round of applause on my end for those questions out there that you all thrown through at each other. All right. So 
Uh, so it is live at gmail.com. That is the email address, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to become a contestant or a participant on the show, so it is live at gmail.com. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we have our data here. Huawei from Arizona, as well as Malachi from Arizona, as well. We are making history, ladies and gentlemen. We could be possibly, we could be possibly watching history in the making as we could potentially match two people from the same state by the way i want to let people know that this is a national show we have had people from different time zones different area codes different states mm -hmm. come on the show and match with each other whether it's in terms of a friendship or, or something more but no this this could be your first time here on, on this live this could be the first time all right so uh it is the top of the hour and we're ready to go into the round the last round round three round three all right malachi you ready let's do it let's do it okay you are you ready i, I see you got up to get your life right you know you said it's live and it is indeed live and this it light is. said um i'm clocking out the light clocked out i didn't clock out but the light clocked oh out. <laughs> okay hey it is live and, and a lot of things have happened during this live broadcast a lot of things did happen all right <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into our last round round three in which this is a this is a new part of soul dates live by the way too ladies and gentlemen I'm telling you, it's everything new. Everything new here on Soul Days Live. We got a new logo. We got new daters. We got a new vibe. We got a new way of doing things. And uh, we got a new segment here called Round 3, Let's Play Favorites. All right? So favorites is where you two would ask each other questions. And you all would fill in the blank. What is your favorite blank? What is your favorite blank? It could be anything, food, movies, color, you name it. All right? So um, I'm going to let you do our way. I'm going to let you uh, start off first by asking Malachi, what is your favorite? Whatever you want to ask him, okay? And then you all will go from there. I'm going to remove myself from the room. Make sure you get the likes up, ladies and gentlemen, and go ahead and put your comments in the comment section at Beat Break Radio on Instagram at Sean Garvey ATL and on Facebook. Let's go. Um, what is your favorite number? Seven. Me too. What about what is your favorite? Really? Seven. I was born on the seventh. Oh, right on the seventh. Yes. <laughs> we lost them. Uh oh, uh oh, we lost connection. Oh First, my goodness! Don't worry, don't worry. First it was I'm the light, on. and then it was the Wi-Fi. You see. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we one of the reasons why we had to start late, do already. Just why? That's why we. You see how God works in mysterious ways. But he, <laughs> he, but he be working. He, hey, there you go. There you go. Hey, you never lie. So, do our way, ladies and gentlemen from Arizona. We're waiting for uh, the one and only Malachi to jump back on. If you're just tuning in, we are in our third and last round. Let's play favorites. And this is a new part of the show that we implemented into So Days Live, where we ask, or where we have the daters ask each other, what is your favorite blankety blank? It could be anything. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite food? What is your favorite movie? You know, that sort of thing. Okay. So while we are waiting for Malachi to come back, uh, I want to ask you, Duare, like, what has your dating life been like thus far? You are obviously you are a very beautiful attractive smart educated professional woman what has your dating scene or your dating journey been like thus far let's be candid for a moment while we wait for malachi to come back online we're gonna be real candid and it's so funny because i think everything that you described about me is the reason why i have not dated in two years <laughs> don't blame it on the pandemic <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the pandemic the you know the pandemic you know, the loneliness kind of brought some people together. So, you know, that wasn't the issue, but it was after the, it was after the pandemic, you know, so after the pen, it was like before the pandemic and it was like after the pandemic. So I just definitely was a different person after, um, got really focused. Um, 
on just rebuilding myself because I had come out of a long term relationship about eight years mm -hmm. and um, it was a relationship where, you know, God works in a God works the way that God is going to work and God fixes things and, you know, and, and lays a path for you to move forward in life. So that's exactly what God did with that relationship for me. And mm. I just had to grow as a person, heal as a person. And that took years. <laughs> it took about three years. Yeah. Took about three. So now I'm at the point where, you know, I only want to date if it's right. Not, I'm not lonely. I'm my, my, you know, my days are very full. You know, I have all, you know, all my passions and things that I'm going for. So I'm definitely very busy. I, I'm not lonely. So I'm just looking for the right match. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And hopefully we can make that match for you on tonight's show because we brought back Malachi. Malachi, there you go. There you go. All right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, man. I've been saying we need to pray for Georgia, but. You may need to pray for Arizona. Wow. <laughs> that Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi. We need to pray for Wi-Fi for Malachi. All right, there we go. Okay, let's let's <laughs> let's retreat back. Okay, so once again, what is your favorite? I believe Duet um Duare was asking him what is his favorite. Let's go back and pick up where we left off at. So we talked about numbers. We have the same matching numbers. And I think you're supposed to ask me what my favorite something is now. Is your Wi-Fi Wi-Fi again? Like I said, I feel like Kendra right now. Big shout out to Kendra, G, by the way. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, Malachi, let's see. We can remove him and bring him back on. There we go. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. I apologize. You were talking about the set. You said you were born on the 7th. It was an amazing day. I do apologize. So I, I have a good memory. So go ahead and continue, please. Yeah, no, we're, no, I was born on the 7th, and that is, you know, one of those special numbers. So one of those lucky numbers. And we have that in common. Um, What is your favorite animal? I'm sorry. My phone is still messing up. I can barely hear you. I was saying, what's your favorite animal? Can you hear me now? Mm-hmm. Can, can you hear me? I can, I can hear see you. see you a little bit. Okay. Sorry. What if, can you repeat that one more time? Yeah. I was going to ask you, what is your favorite animal? Okay. He looks like a dog type of guy. I know he was gonna say dog, but I know it wasn't gonna be cat. You know what I'm saying? He was right. gonna say dog. I, so I answered for him. I thought he was gonna say tiger or lion or something. Oh, like it could be lion. You know what? You know, I think I'm gonna. Because it looked like he is in an Amazon rainforest environment inside his home right about now. That's why I said, okay, he gotta be a, something. Oh, like. <laughs> I definitely see a lion. It could definitely be a lion as well. <laughs> okay. Let's give it one more try. Let's give it one more chance. Okay. Malachi, let's do it. What was your favorite animal? I'm sorry. I, I, I Before, if I get cut off, at least I can learn more about you than you right. know about me. So go ahead and do that after first, please. Well, I love dogs, too. I, well, I love all animals. So I was just trying to see if you're an animal person. You know, we did talk about the zoo. I love all animals, but I definitely love dogs. Okay. I love dogs. Cool. Hey, I, I agree. Dogs are cool. Cats, uh, I'm getting better at used to them because I like, you know, everything that's created, is, it has a good purpose, you know. So I do like cat. I'm starting to get to like cats a little bit, even though I'm allergic to them a little bit, but definitely prefer Same. dogs. So. Same. I'm a little allergic yeah. and it makes me sad because it took me so long to warm up to cats. And then I, and then I realized I'm allergic. So can't win them all, I guess. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> hey, That's but we're, cool. I think we're still with it. <laughs> yes. Okay. What is your, um, what's your, what's your favorite thing to eat? Did I ever ask you that?
What's your favorite food? I'm sorry. What's your favorite um, food? Probably chicken. Yeah. What a, I like chicken, uh, roasted or, or baked or fried, you know, uh, it's good protein. What about you? <laughs> uh, What's your favorite food? Um, I've been eating real healthy, so I've been, you know, I've just been doing veggies, a little bit of starch, a little bit of carbs. But I'm from Belize, so if we're going to get into, like, favorite food, it's definitely island food. I, oh, he's gone. He's gone again. Okay, we need to go ahead and, and make a decision. <laughs> we need to, all right, this has been round three. <laughs> your favorite. Your favorite what? All right, that, that has been round three, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, all right. It's now time for voting. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get right into the vote part of the show, all right? It is time for you, the viewer, the listener, to vote right now and vote on whether... They should go on an actual, actual date in person, or if they should just remain as friends or go their merry way. Okay, so you can go ahead in the comment section right now on YouTube. If you are there, go to our YouTube channel, YouTube, Deep Break Radio. Put it in the comment section there. Or at Sean Garvey ATL and let me know if this is a match or not between Malachi and Duane from the same state, Arizona, where it's hot as hell, as you can tell, because of Malachi showing up. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying, you ain't lying. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. It's hot. It's hot here. Shoot, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I ain't wearing no socks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing no socks at all. No all right. socks. I got everything else on, but I ain't wearing no socks because it's, mm -hmm. it's that hot. All right. <laughs> but go ahead and make it hot up in here by voting right now. Vote, put it in the comment section. Who, I was about to say, who you think should date? Because we don't have three contestants. We only have one contestant. This is like the second time this happened. Is we usually have three contestants, but Duarte just pretty much knocked them out of the box. Knock him out the box. That's why she didn't show up. <laughs> That's why nobody didn't show up. Like That's why she didn't even show up. That's why she didn't show up. <laughs> or they, they didn't show up. Like I said, it's supposed to be two other, you two see? other people, not just you, two hours. Come on, man, stop it. It's supposed to be two other people. Malika. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to take some time and let them vote. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and vote right now. It is viewer's choice. Viewer's choice, do you think they should go on a date or not? Okay, we're going to take a quick break from Soul Dates Live. Go ahead and make that decision. Put it in the comment section, and we will post it on our Instagram, Facebook, and on our Honey and the Flow Television Network. Let us know if this is going to be a match or not. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more. So Dates Live right here on Honey, the Flow Television Network, YouTube, and wherever you get your streaming from, Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, wherever. All right, we will be right back with more of So Dates Live. So go anywhere. We'll be right back. Jump on. and I want to thank you for joining me and supporting Paralyzed Veterans of America. I joined the Navy to serve my country as a Navy SEAL. While parachuting with my platoon, my parachute didn't open. And I broke my neck. It left me paralyzed. Paralyzed Veterans of America was by my side from that moment on. Since 1946, Paralyzed Veterans of America has kept a promise to our wounded veterans. We will never leave a fallen comrade behind. Thanks to PVA, 
paralyzed veterans are getting specialized medical care and treatments. The benefits they've earned, the jobs they want, and the accessible vehicles and homes they need. I just don't think my family would be as happy as they are without the support that I received from Paralyzed Veterans of America. Our veterans fought for us. Let's fight for them. To learn more, go to pva.org today. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. to Soul Days Live if you're just now tuning in. Facebook, Instagram, at Sean Garvey ATL or at Beat Break Radio. Let's do a quick check-in real quick and shout out to everybody that has joined in or checked in on my Instagram Live. Shout out to Queen K. Big shout out to you. Also, big shout out to Riddell from Chicago who made the list number four, Chicago as one of the worst cities for dating. <laughs> big shout outs to Riddell checking in. Also, big shout outs to the poet himself, Mario Reyes. I gotta hit you up, man. You know, I'm doing uh, this new podcast coming out around Valentine's Day weekend called Love, Passion, and Poetry. That's coming in 2025. Around Valentine's Day weekend. All right, I gotta hit you up. Big shout out to Mario Reyes. We're back in the ATL, baby. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Beat Break Radio if you are not a subscriber on this just yet. Um, so we are waiting back from Malachi because obviously throughout this entire time of doing Soul Dates Live, his Wi-Fi has been Wi-Fi. <laughs> But we still have Duwawe in the building. And we are about to see if there is going to be a match between herself and Malachi, okay? So, Duwawe, I wanna do this. I'm gonna play a couple of clips from last night's show in which we had two different daters on. And I'm not going to give away too much of what happened during the live taping of the show last night. You can watch it on demand, YouTube, Deep Work Radio, and it will be available on our channel, Honey, 
via Roku. But uh, it was very interesting. Very interesting. And it was the same type of uh, thing, you know, we were supposed to have some more daters come on. Uh, but they were the only two that showed up. It is what it is. It is live, live program. Anything can happen. But let's play a uh, clip or two while we wait for Malachi to come on uh, and fix his Wi-Fi. So uh, let's do this. Do our race. Let's play a one or two clips from last night's show. Just in case you missed it, here's what happened on last night's So Big Live. Let's run, run the clips here. That's not it. That's not it. That's it. All right, let's do it. What do you, my mom, what do you think about her answers as far as for the uh, date, smash, and marriage segment? Yeah, I said she had a taste that was kind of, I was, I'm not, I wasn't familiar with like two out of the three people. So like, I would, I really don't have much of an opinion. She's, she had, she knows something that I don't know. Mm, okay. Well, you, you, to me, you don't stick out like a Morris Chestnut, but to me, you kind of stick out like a Lakeith Stanfield in a way. <laughs> okay. That was one of the clips there. Um, and she brought up Morris Chestnut, uh, the other dater, the young lady, uh, Belia, shout out to Belia. She brought up Morris Chestnut because she's looking for a, a gentleman that kind of somewhat looks like Morris Chestnut, kind of somewhat. Uh, let's go into clip number two. This is what also happened during a live taping of So Days Live. What do you think about Maman's answers, by the way, for the, uh, you know, date, smash, or marry? What do you think about his answers? Um, I thought they were interesting. It's like a different range, different types. I feel like my types are kind of consistent, but I feel like his are kind of, they range from like personality and stuff. Okay. That's funny. I, I just say I'm cultured. So like, yeah, you know, I, I'm not just putting myself in one lane. Like, mm -hmm. Okay. And Mama, what do you think? Yeah, do you think uh, you see yourself maybe possibly, you know, reaching out to her for an in-person date or somewhat like a second date? The floor is yours. Personally, I don't think we're a match because it seems like we're at two different points in our lives and we want different things. And I think she answers the questions like really well, mm -hmm. but it's just more of what we want in life. And it seems like we have a different vibe and that's kind of where we're at. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was last night. Wow. So was yeah. It's so crazy because chemistry is clearly such a, such a unique, Thing that you either have it with someone or you don't, you know. Yeah. And I just yeah. noticed from the beginning they just really didn't have chemistry. Yeah, you know, it it is what it is, you know. Just like any other dating game show, you know, there are times where there is instant chemistry, and then there are shows or episodes where there isn't mm -hmm. no type of chemistry. It is what it is. We, we do our best. We do our best. No, totally. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> I also noticed that they they, they also kind of only showed their face, and I think like you should show more of your body because people are gonna they need more of a fuller idea of who you are to see if right. you are. You know what I'm saying? So, right. that's what I say. He had his chesticles out. Like we both came to show each other who we are. And um, I think maybe that's why he, uh, Malachi and I kind of vibe together a little bit. Mm, mm. Yeah, and that's actually, open. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like I said, tonight's show, tonight's taping might be a bit more better than last night's taping. <laughs> they can't all be winners. They can't yeah. all be yeah. winners. Because you got to learn from your L's. That's how you become a winner is by learning from that, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. what I tell myself. All right. 
All right, so while we are still waiting for uh, Malachi to come on and his Wi-Fi, you need to get your Wi-Fi Wi-Fi straightened out. Let's go to the comment section. All right, so uh, okay, okay, let's go here. Derek Jackson. Derek says friends. Derek thinks that the two of you. You and Malachi should remain friends. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. It seems like the, the comments are spicy. The comments section. The comments are, are spicy. spicy. Yes. We welcome all spiciness. <laughs> I like spice. Okay. Yeah. It's not too late, ladies and gentlemen, to put your comments in the comment section here at Beat Work Radio. Uh, become a, a subscriber. Become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, Beat Work Radio, or in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, at Sean Garvey ATL. Do our way from Arizona, as well as Malachi from the same state as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Mal Malachi is going to be coming back on tonight's Soul Days Live or not. I'm glad might that- it to be out. continued. <laughs> there might be a part two. We're about to find out. <laughs> We're about to find out. I'm going to switch the beat and uh, find out through you because we're getting ready to wrap up the taping of Soul Days Live because we had a very, very great time here on the Soul Days Live and we really appreciate you to our way for coming on and we really appreciate you that your Wi-Fi wasn't Wi-Fi throughout the entire time. I'm sitting right next to it. I didn't take a chance. <laughs> All right. So before you make your decision without Malachi, which we could have Malachi come on, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, what did you think about the process so far? This was fun. This was fun. I normally don't put myself out there like this, um, but I really wasn't nervous about it, actually. I mean, it's the only great things can come of it, so... I'm excited. <laughs> I want to read these comments. How do you know? How do you know? Or, how? They just come up. They just come up. <laughs> I think that Malachi and I are definitely a match, and, I, and hopefully we can follow up and plan something in the future. Soon. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, is this going to be leading up to a, I call it a second date, because tonight was kind of somewhat of a date. But is <laughs> is are you saying to our viewers and to our listeners right now that you want to go on an official an official date with Malachi? I would definitely go on an official date with Malachi. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get the applause. Let's get the applause. Let's get the applause. All right. So do all right. Made her decision, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta take a chance. You never know. <laughs> going on the second date with Malachi. All right, and you all are both in the same state. And you know, I've been mentioning that. I've been pumping that up throughout the entire show. So tell us, what is it about Malachi that made you want to go on a second date or an in-person date with him? Um, it's it's actually very specific. Um. I can tell he was a little nervous and he gotta be a little nervous. I can't date a guy who I don't make just a little bit nervous because it just don't it don't work. Like you got you know, that's how I kind of know that he was interested. I kind of felt and then his energy was so good, but I can just tell he was a little nervous. I can never date a guy who I don't make a little nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause some other girl probably making him nervous. I'm, some other girls giving him butterflies. He gonna, follow, he gonna follow them butterflies you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay all right i feel you on that so i, I want to hear from malachi uh we may not be able to hear from malachi because his wi-fi obviously is still wi-fi in here but uh we're going to hear back from malachi offline or we may do a soul days live part three on wednesday night we may do one well no we can't do one because that's there's you know, we got therapy and no joke on Wednesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, but we're going to have our producers reach out to Malachi behind the scenes and see if he wants to go on a second date with you. 
Okay, and if, and if it, not, bring me back, and then we'll start from scratch. We'll start from top. We'll run it from the top. You want to, we're gonna start from the start. We, there you go. We're gonna start from scratch. If we're gonna start from scratch with some new daters and, and what have you. I I pot I think though from a positive standpoint, I think Malachi would say yes. I think he would say yes because I just felt the chemistry, the vibe between the two of you all. You know, I like I said. Tonight's taping definitely was better than last night's tape. <laughs> but, but yeah, but I think it's all good. It's, it's, it's all good. So here's what I want us to do. Uh, of course, I want our team behind the scenes to reach out to Malachi and see if he's up for a second date with you. And if he says yes, which I really, really believe 200% that he will say yes, um, the two of you are... We're gonna work it out behind the scenes, have you two contact each other, exchange information behind the scenes, and uh, we're gonna leave the rest to you, to both you and Malachi. And uh, just like we tell some of our others who have been on Soul Dates Live in the past, that if y'all go on a date, y'all gotta give us a follow-up. Deal. Deal, all right, deal. deal. There you go. There you go. Well, Duare, I had so much fun with both you and Malachi. Uh, anything you want to say to our fans, to our followers before we let you go? Um, thank you for having fun with me tonight. You can always follow me on my Instagram. We perform live all around Phoenix, the Neutron Band, and hopefully I'll see you there soon. Okay. All right, ain't nothing wrong with a shameless plug, even though it's not shameless. <laughs> it's definitely something you uh, got to take heed to. So you all be on the lookout for her and follow her on social media. What's your social media handle again? Dewari B. Ori, the full name. Just like it says at the bottom of the screen there. Okay, yeah. all right. And don't be surprised, Dewari, if some guys hit you up in the DM inbox. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, they already see what... What the rep, what the requirements are. So let's, you know, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Duari, for being a great participant to So Days Live. I'm sorry we couldn't bring back uh, Malachi onto the show. But like I said, I'm going to have my team uh, reach out to him and get some things happening. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. That has been Duare. Coming from Arizona. All right, we're gonna check back in with you later. All right, appreciate it. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Soul Dates Live, where we make things happen and whatever happens, happens. Especially when it comes to somebody's Wi Fi. <laughs> All right, reach out to the team, reach out to Kelly, my producer, for making things happen for us behind these scenes and to my guests, my daters, Duare and Malachi for coming on tonight's Soul Date Live. And we're going to be back. Well, I'm going to be back this Wednesday for Therapy Ain't No Joke with my new special guest. He's going to be coming on Therapy Ain't No Joke. And we're going to talk about something very serious, Greek life to care life. Tune in this Wednesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Same outlet, same platforms, Honey, the Roku, the Flow Television Network, wherever you get your streaming from. And if you missed any of tonight's highlights and episodes of So Day Live, you can simply go to our YouTube channel. On demand, YouTube, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Deep Break Radio if you missed any of tonight's highlights of So Day Live. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you or someone you know want to be on Soul Dates Live. If you know somebody or even yourself that's tired of the dating apps, the dating platforms, the games and all that stuff, email our team, souldateslive at gmail.com. All right? You too could be a contestant, a participant on Soul Dates Live. All right, uh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, um, our show, our series premiere of Status Updates will be premiering next Monday night. 
at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, October 7th. So make sure you have Honey in place to watch the series from here. Uh, status updates, download the Honey app if you haven't already to your Roku TV or Roku device. And if you do not have a Roku TV, I suggest you go get one, okay? They sell them at Walmart very cheap. <laughs> but check us out. Uh, check out the show, the premiere of Status Updates next Monday night at 8 p.m. on Honey. All right. This has been my time. Thank you all so much. And I will check back in with you all next time. Big shout out to uh, my, my other guest, by the way, Michael, by the way, too. Um, we oh, we got to play the full interview. We got to play the full interview with Michael this coming Wednesday night after Therapy Ain't No Joke from 7 to 9 and then from 9 to whatever time, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. We will play a rebroadcast of Snow Days Live with Michael as he finishes up his update, speaking of update, from his date with Brittany, a.k.a. B, who was on So Days Live recently. Okay? I thought I was about to rhyme for a second there. <laughs> big shout out to uh, Nisha for checking in and also big shout out to Michael who we had the opportunity to talk to earlier in the program. Alright? I'm getting ready to sign off. I'm done. Okay, y'all be safe. Take care of each other and I will see you all tomorrow night, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. during Therapy Ain't No Joke. Right here on Honey and on the Flow Television Network. As well as on YouTube. And on my social media pages. Alright. Peace.